Hey everybody, it's Maria, as you can tell. Uh, long time no see. I know it's been at least three months since I got on here. Um, have a, As you can tell from the title, I have a life update. Sharing with you what I'm probably going to wind up doing. Well, yeah, I'm probably going to... I keep saying probably, I know I will go ahead and do with my channel also. Uh, but before I begin, I just want to ask something of y'all if y'all would please uh, respect my privacy and the other person's privacy that this involves and also please note that any rude or hateful comments that you guys leave me I'm going to delete them and block you because this past month has been one of the most challenging months of my life period but I've also found I'm starting with God's help coming to understanding how I've got to perceive myself and one of the things he's taught me is not to keep apologizing not only to him but to everybody for stuff that I've done um, a long time ago in my past he's if he he's forgiven me and it's time to move forward and I've got to let go of that so please keep them in mind now if you follow me on Instagram you already know what's going on um, I thought it was, I didn't realize what month it was, or I knew what month, I kept thinking it was the 25th, because it was the day that, uh, my late sister-in-law had passed away, but, anyway, one month ago today, I had come home from work after not being able to get a hold of my husband all day, and I got very worried. I had found that he had packed all his stuff and moved out while I was at work. I had no indication he was going to do this. I actually found out he had been planning on doing this for a couple months, but didn't want to tell me. Matter of fact, I had just cleaned the apartment the day before that, and the apartment was left in shambles, and it took me a few days to get it all clean again. To say I was shocked is a bit under bit of an understatement guys the only word that comes to mind when I came home to this is I flipped out not mad flipped out the upset flipped out I went into my job the next day and spoke to upper management and I told them basically I'm not coming to work the rest of the week and why and they were totally fine with that if I needed a few more days that would be fine uh, but I took off the rest of the week this happened on Monday and Tuesday I'm normally off so I took off for three days but I went back to work Saturday let me tell you that was another tough challenge for me Carrie and I are still speaking to each other he loves me a lot he cares for me a lot but he's not in love with me he needs space so guess what He's got it. Um, but I also realized I need time to figure out me. What I... I want so badly to be back with him. And I love him so much. I'm in love with him. And my heart got broken in a billion pieces. But I'm also accepting responsibility for this. Um... I want to say I'm taking about 95% responsibility for this. Maybe 90, but it's mostly my fault that he left. This has shaken me to the core. Made me realize I had a great big attitude, which I didn't realize. I thought everyone around me had one, and it was me. Uh, I'm still living in the apartment. I have no plans to move. I'm Thankfully, I will try to afford my rent. And um, I'm going to renew my lease at the end of next month. Um, he thankfully didn't take both my cats with me. I have already asked him, please don't take the cats from me. Because they're, they've been helping so much. He wanted to take his cat too. But uh, he decided to leave her here. And you know, we can't bust them up. And he knows I need them. A lot. So, um... And by the way, I forgot to tell you at the beginning of the video. I've got his permission to share this. I'm not going to go into the other detail part of it. I asked him, what can I share? Can I share this part and that part? He was fine with it. 
and he hopes like hell I hit a thousand subscribers on here I doubt I will but he is hoping um, for me uh, that I can hit it sorry I just got a notification the Texas governor is on so I'll watch that in just a few minutes um he is he's hoping that a lot more of you will come to my channel and subscribe because that's another goal I have is to eventually I've, I've you guys know I've had that goal ever since I've been on YouTube I think 10 years and a lot of times I'm not consistent but if I hit a thousand subscribers that would be awesome but uh I've been focused on something the last month which I thank God he put I did not know in six months he would put this in, in my lap for this very reason I've been clinging to my faith a lot and been trying to spend as much time with him. I had not spent too much time with him the last few days, but he's been, I've been able to talk to him and he knows how I feel. He's met my needs. He's met, he's done, he's been there for me. We have an awesome God that we should praise and worship more. Um, I did go to the pastor that Wednesday and he prayed over my marriage and he also prayed over my sensitive business, prayed I'd be able to take care of myself. And I went to church at night and everybody that was there and even people that know about it are praying that we get back together. If we don't get back together, it's going to suck so bad. But I also know that that, has, that is a real possibility. But I'm praying that we do get back together. But if we don't, I'm going to have to force myself to be okay. I'm going to have to move on. But I'm praying I don't have to because I love him so much. He's been my everything for the last 13 years. And to hear him say he's not loving me no more hurt like, hurts like hell. There's nobody involved in case you're wondering. It's just it. I do wish he had communicated this to me before but he did what he did. And he has apologized, but it still hurts. Um, so what I've been focused on, and what I decided to focus on, knowing my relationship with God, was Cincy. You guys, I think I told you guys I signed up with Cincy. Uh, within 70 days, my first 70 days, I hit the an award that fewer than 10% hit. Uh, Sensational Star Award level one, I think. And as of last Thursday, I became a lead consultant within six months. And I did not think that was possible. But it's possible. Oh my gosh. I worked my butt off for this. And I had a friend of mine, um, I met her on Instagram. I'm pretty sure she's a subscriber of mine. She and my, I've had several friends repeatedly order for me. Like one in Washington said she's ordered for me like several times in a month. And she, when she got her first order, she fell in love with Cincy and the company. So she decided to sign up. And she also wanted to help me get this position. I was at work in my main job that I dearly love. And I got a message from my director saying, congratulations, you hit lead consultant. And I looked at the message when I went to break. And I was stoked. And let me tell you, I've got Carrie's backing not only on my YouTube channel, but on my Cincy business. He's even made a couple of orders because he loves the products just as much as I do even the body wash I just I had ordered him a body wash the week and a half before that and he's already tried it and he said can you get me some more please done which he has paid for and that order will be here tomorrow um there was something else I forgot to tell you guys oh I don't know if I mentioned we are me and him are talking we're communicating trust me I'm still giving him his space but we are communicating it's not like he turned his back on me he just needs space. A lot of space. Done. But I'm also finding out I need my space too. And so going forward, I was going to share with you my Sensi business. Continue with the beauty and makeup stuff. I I finally have been trying to remember to put makeup on. It's just, you know. Oh. Well, part of the reason why I want to put makeup on is that the heater part was still on our all, in my all bills paid apartment now. Um, But now they switched over to AC. I ain't going to have trouble putting it on without sweating. So... Um, 
and I'm trying to, I'm like, I wore it yesterday, so it's fine. Um, and I'm also wanting to see if you guys want to see how I've redecorated the apartment. I didn't want to redecorate it. I keep, I'm having a hard time calling it my apartment. Call it our apartment. But it's my apartment now. And I hadn't said that in like years. So if you guys want to see what I've done so far, I'm still tweaking it. I'm not wanting to buy a whole lot because I still got enough here. I'm just, I'm wanting to try to use what I have. But I'm trying to girlerize it, I guess you can call it. Now, what I am doing, um, and he, he knows this. He's already said, you know, if he does come back, it'll say that he wants me to keep it because he's fine with it. That stuff has never bothered him. So, I'm sorry if you see it's not coming down from my nose. So, this, uh, that uh, bed spread, that fits a full-size day bed. And I got it at a thrift store, but I fell in love with the pattern. So, it's awesome. I have a new, they're new to me, 300 count Egyptian sheets by the same couple that had given us the bed. They dropped off the sheets, and so I put those on uh, probably about a week after he moved out, finally. Because the day he left, I also started my period, which is not fun. <sighs> anyway, um, so that's what's been going on. I just wanted to see if you guys were interested in seeing that. I'm going to go ahead and do it nevertheless. Where I'm filming at right now, um, this partitioner is in my living room now, but uh, I turned his old monocar area into a sewing slash Bible study area slash a secondary office for me uh, to uh, work on my sensei. Because sometimes uh, if I don't get it, I'm sorry, my eyes are bothering me. Um, if I don't want to go in the in my main office in the living room, I can I usually keep my laptop here unless I move it back in there. And I can just sit here and check my emails really quickly. And then put this down. My printer's still in there, though. I am so sorry I'm snotty. I know this is kind of gross. There's a tissue. Anyway. Um, I hope everybody's staying safe in the coronavirus. I'm interested to see what Governor Abbott is going to say. Because... Uh, in Hunt County, where I live at, we are having a stay in shelter in place. They voted yesterday to do it. I thought it was going to start last night, but it's starting tonight, I think. And, uh, also my awesome friend, Miss Veronica, she had posted a video of her Cincy purchase, and she put a video up with my link, and I haven't had any orders come from that, but that's okay. Um, hopefully I will. But uh, apparently there's been some, several other counties in here that stay at home in place. I'm exempted from it because I work in grocery. So as soon as I got to work, they said, when you clock in, go get a letter. I'm like, huh? And they told me about Hunt County. And then the county I work in, they are doing the same thing tonight. So, again, I don't know what Governor Abbott's going to say. Um, it's very scary. I'm clinging to my faith in God, not only for what's going on with me personally, but what's going on in the world. God's got this, and I'm going to do everything I can. I'm an at-risk person, too. So is Carrie. Carrie's a diabetic, a heart patient. I'm asthmatic. And I was just reading online this morning that there has been a surge in the uh, butyrol inhalers. Now, I am so thankful I got mine. I got a brand new one, and I somehow my other ones that have plenty of air in them. But they're having to use those instead because, you know, what it does to you. So, um, I, prior to all this happening, I was wearing gloves because I had two customers come in. They were just got out of the hospital with pneumonia and flu. And, um, one woman, unfortunately, decided to lick her fingers and hand me her cash. And I said, ma'am, it's okay. You can put it on the table. And I was going to go grab a plastic bag and one of my coworkers threw, like, rubber gloves at me. She's like, no, put those on. That's a good idea. I've been wearing the gloves since then. I'm on the verge of starting to put a mask on, but I've been trying to make sure I distance myself because I am also a self-checkout host cashier, but occasionally I get on the register. So, you know, um, in case you're wondering, I, I'm fine on food and anything. I, I, I was prepping the weekend before all the crap hit the fan and I'm, I'm fine. It, I live by myself. I got the cats. I'm fine. So, um, anyway, I appreciate you guys for sticking with me. 
I hope you guys understand what I'm asking you on the privacy and, and please leave Carrie on. He, he's already said he doesn't want to talk to me about it. It's between he and I and that's that. And um, It is what it is, you know. Um, but I hope that you guys would want to see more videos from me. I did have a couple of you message me here or on Instagram wanting to see what's going on and this is where I've been. I even debated on really seriously rather to come back on here but this might give me something else to focus on too. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you want to see more videos, I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. Please uh, give it a thumbs up. And if you're just coming across my ch channel, please hit that subscribe button. Um, I was going to start the next video I was going to do after this was share with you my Sensi story and how I've been successful at it. If you guys want to see that and then I'll venture off into the other things. So Anyway, I've got to get off here. I'm going to go see what Governor Abbott has to say, and I will talk to you guys later. Have a blessed day, guys, and stay safe.